Welcome to Token Topics. XDC's the topic. XDC has been on quite a rally the past month and recently exploded in the past 24 hours. This is great and exciting news for those who have been holding a long time. There's some very exciting things in store for the XDC network. I'm going to show you a connection, a vital connection between the XDC network, the DTCC, and chips through Corda. XDC smart contract capability is pushing not only Ethereum to the side, but other blockchain projects. This will be a vital instrument in the way transactions are conducted, and XDC is the perfect fit for these complex trades. This is very bullish indeed. We're also going to look into a recent ETH Dubai event and a new event in Paris. If you're an XDC fan you don't want to miss this, please hit the like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm also not paid for or sponsored by the XDC network. Let's go ahead and dive in. Keep your crypto safe with a decent biometric wallet. What talks about exchanges going down and cyber attacks, it's smart to keep it on a hardware wallet. Purchase it now through Token Topics and receive a discount. I'm going to put the affiliate links in the description below. Congratulations to XDC holders. This is a very exciting time to be holding XDC. The price of XDC has literally exploded within the past 24 hours, reaching over 20%. It's also very impressive what it's done in the past 30 days. The past month, it's reached over 57% during the time of recording. Very impressive. Now, I don't think it's a coincidence what's going on with the new ISO 222 messaging standard. The price of XDC explodes during the same day where the coexistence period begins for Swiss cross-border payments. And we also have the chips that's also in phase one with the new messaging standard. Now, what is chips? Somebody might ask. Chips is the clearinghouse interbank payment system. It allows large bank interbank transactions in the United States to clear. Now, traditionally, chips is slower, but less expensive than other major bank interbank clearinghouse known as Fedwire, for example. But not for long as everything's getting upgraded. And if you've seen the previous video, uh, I talked about in 2025, Fedwire is going to go live with cross-border payments. That's massive. Another exciting year to look forward to is 2024. April 2024, chips, as I was just speaking about, will be fully implemented with the new ISO 222 standard. But even now, today, we're in a very exciting time. Not only with chips, but the coexistence period with SWIFT is happening right now. That means that it's running parallel with the traditional banking system. That means that it's being tested, and as time goes on, we're going to start to see more and more uh, utility out of these coins. Let's remember that the XDC network is the primary bridge between the Corda private networks and public networks. Just last year, DTCC's Project Ion platform went live in parallel production processing over 100,000 transactions per day on DLT. The DTCC is a Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, the premier post-trade market infrastructure for global financial services industry. This is not only significant for XDC, but also XDAR, XRP and other assets that can run on quarter. So DTCC's private permission DLT Platform was developed in collaboration with many of the world's leading market participants and technology provider firms, including Apex, Clearing Corp, Barclays, BNY Mellon, Charles Schwab, a Citadel. You have Citi, Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, big names, and many of them are actually in trouble right now. So this technology is vital. I'm sure you can see that. So the goal of the Project Ion is to ultimately provide a resilient, secure, and scalable alternative settlement service to clients with the option to leverage DLT for those firms who wish to take advantage of the emerging technology. DTCC partnered with leading enterprise technology provider R3 to develop and launch Project Ion Platform, leveraging R3's Quora DLT software. The primary bridge is the XDC network. The fact. So going back to March 20th of this year, CHIPS is very significant also with the SWIFT coexistence of the new ISO messaging format. 
I want to dive into two documents. First, this is from the Bank of International Settlements. Now, this is an old document, so I'm letting listeners and viewers know. What I'm trying to do is give you an idea of how large CHIPS is and how large the DTCC is and how big of a deal this is for Quora, which is a big deal for the XDC network because let's not forget, the XDC network is the primary bridge between private and public blockchains. That is vital for the whole ecosystem. That is Corda's main bridge. So this is called Payment Clearing and Settlement Systems in the United States. So Section 3, we have Payment Systems Fund Transfer Systems. You have Clearinghouse Interbank Payment Systems, which is CHIPS. You also have Section 4 here, Systems for Post-Trade Processing, Clearing, and Settlement. There you have the DTCC Data Repository. This will give you an idea how big CHIPS is. So CHIPS operated by the Clearinghouse Payment Company. These payment systems are used by depository institutions and their customers to make large value time critical U.S. dollar transfers. In addition to the Fedwire Fund Service, the Federal Reserve also operates the National Settlement Service, which allows multilateral settlement by clearinghouses, financial exchanges, and other clearing and settlement groups. CHIPS is a real-time computerized system for transmitting and settling U.S. dollar payments among its participating banks. CHIPS is operated by the Clearinghouse Payment Company, which is an affiliate of the Clearinghouse Association. CHIPS is subject to supervision and examined by the Federal Reserve. Participants use CHIPS to settle a variety of large-value international and domestic payments, including those associated with the adjustment of correspondent balances, commercial transactions, bank loans, and security transactions, CHIPS process an average of approximately 361,000 payments per day during 2010. The total value of transfers originated during 2010 was approximately $365 trillion with a T. Nets back in 2010. States here to facilitate settlement, the CHIPS pre-fund balance accounts, CHIPS account, was established at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. So this, tech, this technology is going to revolutionize and cut out all that fat out of the system. Now we're at DTCC, Data Repository. So DTCC Data Repository is wholly owned subsidiary of the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation that operates in multi-class swaps, data repository for over-the-counter OTC equities, credit interest rate, and foreign exchange derivatives market. Now somebody might ask, well, how is this all connected? So the clearinghouse operates an interbank funds transfer system known as CHIPS and an ACH system known as EPN. Now DTCC operates the depository trust company. So the clearinghouse operates an interbank fund transfer system known as CHIPS and an ACH system known as EPN. It operates a depository trust company. So, so the clearinghouse operates CHIPS, which is in phase one of the new ISO 222. Uh, and then you also have DTCC operates a depository trust, which is connected to Corda. So there you have two different avenues that's connected to the new ISO 222 messaging format, which also has the connection to the XDC network. A tool Kaked posted, XDC network takes center stage at ETH Dubai 2023 with impressive ecosystem and keynote speakers. This was a major event to put a spotlight on the XDC network. And get this, it was at an Ethereum event of all events, <laughs> putting XDC into spotlight. The recent ETH Dubai event was a fantastic showcase of XDC Network's capabilities and potential developers were impressed by the network's security, scalability, and fast transaction speeds, making it an attractive option for building blockchain solutions. Developers at ETH Dubai were interested to learn more about the XDC Network's secure and scalable network, also looking forward to building on XDC uh, to experience the fastest network with near zero gas fees, all while being EVM compatible. Impressive. So I, I like to try. So here in DeFi, it's a very initial stage. So if you say that, you know, we'll go to regulators, but regulators don't know how to regulate the DeFi space because everything is so new. It's not many parties not written on their book itself. So uh, looking at the current condition, I feel it's more like an evolvement. So regulators, they are against to those who are taking users fund. They are not against to any kind of innovation. My personal experience, I meet many regulators. 
they are always open for the regulation. The only problem, they don't know how to regulate. So DeFi is a very interesting space and everybody knows it's going to kill the traditional world because of a low fee and transparency. None of the banks gives you full transparency to end users. Like say you have money and you put on a bank account. You don't know where the bank is using your fund until there will be a collapse. So I think a DeFi regulation will take some time, maybe a little bit. So we have to keep developing. We have to keep uh, going to the regulators with our use case. And finally, we'll find out something like they, they are regulators. So they will regulate it like tomorrow or day after tomorrow. But things will come like it will be stabilized gradually. This is posted by XVC Tech. And it's a wrap, ETH Dubai 2023. Seeing so much interest from Ethereum developers for XDC Network at the event was heartening. I would not doubt if a lot of people sold some Ethereum, sold some ETH, and put it into the XDC network. Speaking of Corda, R3 recently posted, Here at R3, we're super proud to be involved in many pilot projects, enabling the future of digital finance. R3's Bruno Cascado lets Frank Suess at BFI Capital Group in on what's happening on the ground with these projects and how close we are to seeing many go live. So this is very exciting times in which we're in right now, and it's going to continue to develop in stages. We're going to start to see more and more utility, but we are at that starting point now. I will not name any of them, but there are some that have been really active with us. There are some that are very close to having production systems. When you say close, uh, when do you think they'll they'll go? Uh... We, we, I would say definitely within the next couple of years. They'll go live within the next two years? Yes, with okay. some like pilot, Project. This is great news here. This is more connections to the XDC network under these umbrellas, under these initiatives. So BIMCO, the global shipping community of 2,000 members presents in 130 plus countries, has decided to join the DNI initiative as part of its commitment to accelerate uptake of electronic bills of lading. BIMCO members cover over 60% of the global fleet and consists of local, global, small, and large companies. That's big right there. I've spoken many times about the DNI initiative on this channel and how it's all connected with ITFA and more. And right there, you can see XDC network under this umbrella. And Pell posted less than a week ago that they are thrilled to participate in the ICC UAE Trade Tech Transformation Challenge, showcasing their ISO 222 payment rail for instant settlement over XDC network. This is a big. Another big event that's putting the XDC name out there. This is from XVC Tech. Now, what is XVC Tech? So XVC Tech is a $125 million fund supported by founders of the XDC network that specializes in investing in early stage Web3 startups. Here we have Tim Draper, a Draper associate stressed on the importance of being invested in crypto at a time when a traditional banking system is failing. We're seeing that all over the place. XVC Tech has given a soft commitment to invest up to 500,000 or half a million and a chance to win a fully paid trip to Dubai. That would be fun right there. XVC's founding partner was at the judging panel of the startup pitching competition alongside other big names. The networking session was full of young Web3, point, or Web3 enthusiast founders with state-of-the-art ideas to solve problems in Web3 and pitching to potential investors. Well, everyone, that's all I have for the video. Please put your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited about the explosive price action? Are you holding XCC? Please let me know. Put it in the comments. As always, thank you for watching another edition of Token Topics.